This is Doug Farrar, shut down corner with uh, Travell Games and Ryan Matthews here at the uh, week opening of uh, the week's opening of Performance Games. And Ryan, you've been training with Travell a while. Uh, what's that history with him? How did you meet, and how has that developed? Uh, we met when I was coming out of Fresno State, and uh, you know he gave me a positive vibe, and you know he told it to me straight up. You know he said you know he can make me into one of the best running backs in the league, and I really bought into it. And, uh, I came down here to train for the combine. He got me in tip top shape. You know I blew out the combine. Love my pro day, you know. Like, you really improved your time. I remember him talking about it. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That was a big thing, you know. Uh, just get me faster, you know, stronger and everything. Uh, you know, he really, he really, you know, got me in a, you know, the top performance that I can be in to, to go into my, my rookie season. And uh, you know, I just had a mishap or whatever. But I, I think I would have, you know, had a big rookie season. But, you know, just, just our history, you know, he, he's always been, been there. And uh, you know, he's always given me the, the right attitude and, and basically just, uh, you know, up front, you know, pers his personal opinion of, uh, you know, what I need to do and how, how I need to do it. Terrell, this is a really good example of how you get a guy and we want to improve your speed. And again, we're talking about little increments here that make such a big difference. If you're going from 4.6 to 4.4, four, that's millions of dollars. How do you do that? How do you take a guy who's already fast, already athletic, already cut to shreds and make him faster? I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't do anything. That was all Ryan. You know, Ryan just... Uh, That's a horrible answer, man. <laughs> <laughs> he just, I mean, I, you know, he's got to get credit with credit. Dude, Ryan just came with the right mindset. And that's what everything's all about. It's all about mindset. And mentally, if you're willing to do the work, you're going to get the results you need. And I think that Ryan just had a strong belief in himself. Um, he's a very confident running back. And um, there was a prescription made for him uh, to dial up his speed at the right time for him to peak to get the right time. So he didn't, he, he didn't just follow that prescription. And so he with all the work, and then Ryan has continued to do what he needs to do to be one of the best backs in the NFL, and it's just I'm just you know just really proud of him, and it's, it's all on him, you know, it's just all on him and his perseverance, and uh, you know, he's I'm really close to Ryan, so we have a lot in common. We grew up very similar, and, and that's my relationship with him. Uh, I can relate to him on a lot of different levels, and um, that's what we connected mentally. Like I said, it goes back to the mindset. And just he he puts in the work, and, and I do whatever I can to help him out at any time. A common theme, and I was talking to Jake Laser about this too, the MMA stuff he's doing with you guys. Yes, so much is about explosion, especially right at your position. It's it's exploding when you get the ball, getting through that gap real quick. What has Travell done for you as far as that, just that quick burst? It's all about the you know, you start, you know, you know and uh, it's basically a fast twist. I mean, you, you do a lot of a lot of stuff, you know, quick feet movement, and uh, you know, it's basically working on your fast twitch muscles. You know, I, I know, you know, over a long distance, you know, I, I can run fast. You know, I can keep my stride and you know, I can move. And it's all about, you know, just exploding. You know, if, if you make a cut or come to a stop, you need to be able to, you know, come to, uh, you know, get back to full speed within you know, the next couple of steps. And you know, with all the, all the fast twitch stuff he does, and you know, everything he, he's he's putting in his program. You know, so he's Trevell, so many of these guys you train from year to year, they have changing circumstances. And Ryan, Tolbert's in Carolina now. I mean, you really are the guy. You've been catching more passes, becoming more versatile. Trevell, when you have a guy whose circumstances change, the workouts change too. Well, I, I don't really think so. I think it's more so a mental thing. I think that I think San Diego did everything right with Ryan. I mean, I think that once again, he has so high expectations of himself. I mean, he led the country in rushing as a senior in high school and then also as a junior at Fresno State. And so I believe that his, what he felt he can do for himself, and I'm, I, I can't speak for him, but I think that, you know, the, his progression as a, as a rookie, and then able to go to the Pro Bowl last year, and then now this year with him going to carry more of the load, I, I just think that he's ready for it, and I think he was ready for it from day one. That's, once again, that's my personal opinion. And so, um, I, you know, I, I think that he's ready to go, and he's in amazing shape, and he knows what's at stake. And once again, it goes back to the mental state of the person. And Ryan, this is really kind of a, it needs to be a kind of a breakthrough year for you. How does that change your training? Benji went to the Pro Bowl last year. So I know. I year for me. Cut that out. <laughs> well, we're, we're talking top five. You know what we're talking about, right? It, so how does that change your training, your mindset, or is it just you come in the same way and you expect to kind of accelerate up into that next level? Uh, you know, it's my mindset, you know, I've always known you know, I could be one of the best. You know, that, that's always been me. Um, like Travell said, you know, San Diego did a, did a great job with, uh, you know, building me up and, uh, you know, making me, get me in the position where I am, you know, uh, in the season. You know, I had a great OTA, I had a great, you know, you know really great mini camp, you know, and, uh, you know, I proved to the coaches, you know, that I, I can do, I can be the man, I can be every down back. And, uh, you know, really it's just, um, you know, like, like Travell said, it's all, it's all mental, you know, being able to take 25, you know, 30, 30, uh, you know, snaps a game, uh, or, you know, 
touching the ball game, you know, than getting the catches. And uh, you know, I think I can be, you know, top three and uh, you know yards for from screen, you know, basically catching the ball and, and rushing and everything. So you know, it's just uh, basically just on me and uh, how my mindset is. You had about 50 catches last year. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How is that? I mean, that, that role seems to have expanded a little bit for you. Yeah. How how has that sort of developed? Uh, you know, just uh, I think it's just more confidence with, with Philip and me. You know, um, you know, Mike was there and he's been using the program. You know, uh, you know, a few years before I was, so he, he knew the program in and out. And, uh, you know, I was coming as a rookie and I barely knew it. And, uh, you know, and uh, you know, this year I, I know it. You know, real good. You know, I, I, I'm like, you know, I, I was like October like. I came in, so you know I know the ins and outs of it now, and uh, I know I think Phil has a lot of confidence in me with my blocking and you know my receiving. And you know, I showed him last year I could catch the ball and you know make yardage out of it. So you know it's just basically you know like I said I had a good OTAs with catching the ball and, and uh, no good mini camp with it and uh, my pass protection and everything. So I think it's just uh, same with me and Philip. So it's over out. You excited to get more red zone this year? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, every running back would be, you know, every running back would be, uh, you know, no knock on, on, on Tober, you know, he's a great back, and, you know, I wish him best of luck, but, uh, you know, um, it's just, it's just, I think it's just my time. Yeah. Terrell, this is, I mean, working with all these NFL guys, how much do you interface with their position coaches, their coaches overall, their training staffs? You guys, I mean, it probably depends team to team. Yeah, that's, that's a great question. It definitely is a team to team thing. Like, there are some NFL teams that I'm a lot closer with than others. Um, and they have really super front office guys, so they will recommend their athletes come out and train with me. Um, and there's some teams where I talk to their position coach every day. Yeah. Um, so it just varies from team to team to team. And every there's 32. There's NFL is the NFL, but there's 32 different organizations. Right. Everybody's different. Yeah. And so it just depends on the team. Um, I always try to communicate with someone um, on their staff, so they know what's going on. They know that hey, this guy's here working, or hey, this guy should go back home, or, or that kind of thing, because it is my rep as well as the athletes repping a lot. How specific do you get with the teams you know best? Like, you might say, I see this, and really honest, you see that. Really honest, because yeah. once again, it's everything, it, this is a referral-based business. So if I tell them, hey, this kid's in the best shape of his life, and he comes, shows up throwing up, and it, it makes me look bad. So right. you have to be always honest and open with everybody. Drill Gaines, Ryan Matthews, Performance Gains in West Hollywood. Thanks a lot, guys. All right.